G'day everybody and welcome back to my channel. You've got me in stitches. My name's Anna and I hope wherever you are you're having a really really good day. So it's much later on Sunday afternoon. It is quarter of five. I have put my pattern pieces or begun to put my pattern pieces for the shirt that I want to make out on the cutting table. Um, and hopefully I get that cut out before I start dinner and then after dinner I am going to sew it all up and that will be my evening. Okay everybody, as you can see I have started just to put down my pen in pieces and hopefully I will have them all cut out before I start dinner. Also I want to show you guys something else. My friend very kindly bought me a gift and I will show you in a moment what that is. There we go. I was very kindly bought this really lovely second hand dressmaker's mannequin which I think is really awesome and it's adjustable as you can see at the front and at the sides and obviously around the back so I think I think that's really good I've been after a mannequin for such a long time I did get a tabletop one I'll show you that and talk through that just one second so I, this is the one I currently use it's a fixed sized one and so therefore the contours of the body is just, you can't do anything. It's made of styrofoam, but to be fair, it's, it's helped me a lot considering, um, yes, so I've put sort of stretched fabric tops that I've previously made on this, um, because harder non stretchy fabrics, I mean, ideally would have to go on one that you can adjust. Also I will show you something else that my friend got. Okay so whilst we were looking for some fabric this fabric was sort of scrunched up and it's this beautiful velvet but unbeknown to my friend until they gave me the bag full of fabric when we opened it out it was this outfit. So I guess somebody was perhaps doing some cosplay or something perhaps I'll try and because the light's failing a little bit in here so you see the sleeves long and fluted and they come out all the way down and then that hole there is a belt that goes all the way around I don't know if we can get the back of that there yep So okay, I just had to jump, I had to pause that because um, obviously it would be all a bit rickety. So yeah, it seems a shame to sort of destroy the fabric. I mean, it's not an outfit that I would wear. So if you can think of some suggestions of what I could do, um, please feel free uh, to put in the comments and give me some ideas. Because um, it seems a shame to keep it as is because um, I would never wear it um, but I would sort of deconstruct it to make something which obviously would be the whole purpose it's just again be sort of left over quite a bit of um, spare pieces of fabric so I don't really know um, but again let me know in the comments okay right I'm going to get on and I'm going to start cutting out and I'll check back with you guys later Good day everybody, happy Monday morning, it's approximately 9.30, I thought I'd grab the camera and come outside, the sun is shining and the birds are tweeting and they're really happy and I've literally just got a couple of guys next to me over there, oh they're just so super cute, um, yeah they're probably <laughs> after their feed that I've put out. Okay, so just a quick update on the embroidery and glaze shirt that I'm stitching up. 
I'm just over halfway through so I will insert stills and or video later of the finished garment pretty straightforward regular stitching no problems um, yeah so it's nice when something comes together like that also show you guys what I'm wearing so I have got the McCall's overalls on exactly the same as the ones that you saw yesterday just obviously different fabric um, yeah again I found it really easy to put together there was a few pieces on this particular one there is a ton of top stitching everywhere I use the regular overalls clasps so yeah top stitching absolutely everywhere on the back pockets I step back show you the pockets on the back yeah so really really super comfy um which is you know really important when we um do self sewing you know the fits you know we, we can tweak our fits and everything so that all always works out and also comfort is important as well you know if we're slumping around in the house or out and about busy working you know comfort is really really important and I think as you know dressmakers ourselves you know that's equally as important as as the fit and also the type of fabric as well I mean I thought with this being a denim it was going to be quite stiff and you know take a while to sort of be malleable and, and comfortable um, but no, it's really super soft straight away, easy to stitch up, um, there's a little birdie right by me that's so super cute, as I've just said, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so really, really happy again with these and the side, yeah, side zipper, you can't see it obviously because it's uh, black and then the hook and bar there, so yeah, and then I've just got this little minty cardigan that you've seen a few times in previous vlogs that I thrifted um, so I think the colour combination works relatively well so okay so I will check back with you guys a little bit later on when I finished um, sewing up hey everybody so fresh off the sewing machine is my finished shirt so I will talk through what I did so we start with the collar I installed the sewing um, interfacing because you can't have iron on for some strange reason the iron on interfacing does not adhere to embroidery and glaze but I already did know that <laughs> okay and my installation of my buttons yes buttonholes rock at the moment I know as soon as I say that my sewing machine will act up again but at the moment they have come out really really well I've just installed four again I have kept with the short sleeves and what I did just double folded and a single stitch line uh, I also on the edges I, I don't know if you can see that very well I used bias binding on the hem I just said like I do all my raw edges and folded under and did a zigzag stitch and in the back I will show you the back hope you can see that okay so two darts so just to give it sort of that figure hugging but without being too uncomfortable so yeah I'm really really happy with this so and it's really really lovely fabric and it's teamed up with my finished second make. I will talk to you guys in a moment about that. So I really, really like this. And I like this deep V, but nothing scandalous. So, yeah. Okay, so if I step back, I will show you my red pants that I've made. Okay, so I will talk you through that as well. So on the back, I have put in two darts. Um, I have installed 
the side zipper. I'm not sure if you can see. And they're flat fronted. So no fuss, just like that. Pure and simple. Now, obviously, I told you guys that I wanted to sort of recreate um, the cigarette pants from like Audrey when she used to wear them. I decided not to do that. Um, what I did, as you know, I trace off my patterns and I used the pants from the McCall's overalls and just folded in um, the pattern pieces just to nip them in a little bit. Um, but they're actually full length, regular pants, and they got a little bit of kick and flare at the bottom, so nothing like what I actually intended. Um, the fabric is obviously, I, I've talked about it before, it's got those slubs in, maybe a little bit of silk texture in there. I'm not 100% sure of the content, purely because this fabric was originally thrifted, and I've had it in my stash a little while, and it's been calling saying make me into something so I, I thought I'd better get my butt in gear and start doing something so that's what I did so again tell me in the comments below if you like what you think of both outfits and funny enough both outfits seem to sort of work off of each other I wouldn't normally pair these two sort of quite different outfits together, but they seem to work. Um, so yeah, I didn't install any pockets or anything, so they are just completely regular pants, flat fronted, with the two darts in the back, and obviously hemmed the bottom, and obviously um, surged everything as as we all do. So yeah, they're, they're my two makes and finished complete makes today. So I'm going to get on after lunch and sew something else up. See you guys soon. Hey guys, guess what I am? It's a bit of a giveaway with all these beautiful fabrics. Aren't they stunning? So this was my friend's fabric store that I was telling you guys all about. And I think she's got a lot more in stock because I haven't been in here for a few weeks. And look, there's a gorgeous koi fabric that you've seen. And there's also a black colourway in the koi fabric. And down there as well. Really, really, really gorgeous. And then all the little fat quarters in here. They are lovely. There we go. Recognise the foxy fabric. She's still got some in stock. Also, if you guys see this um, and you like anything, please leave a comment and I can easily get these mailed out to you because my friend doesn't have an online store at the moment these are all the lovely fleeces and some lovely sparklies up there as well really 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 gorgeous oh and look at these cutie bears they're handsome guys, aren't they? Anchors away. Awesome. I love these planes. And look, there's cars. And look at these. Dogs. Hares. Roosters. Ah, oh, look at the foxes. Aren't they gorgeous? There we go. And some more fleeces here. Wow. I've got some of the bumpy fabric. I'll have to show you guys. 
They are really, really lovely. And there's some of the notions. And we've got ribbons. And then over there, zippers. And all the bias binding. Awesome. So there we go. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay guys, following on from the fabric store that I went into, now I had a legitimate reason for going into the fabric store. I needed more threads and I needed some more zippers. I mean I have lots of zippers but I needed some specific sized ones. So, and I was very good. Yes I was. I know you don't believe me but <laughs> I purchased only two fabrics. Now this one it reminds me of sort of African print fabric. So look at that. It's stunning. All those different colours. I think it's really, really awesome. Both of them are 100% cotton. But as soon as I saw this fabric, definitely I thought African. Absolutely. So I'm not too sure what I'm making that. But I will think of something. And also... The other quick one, again, 100% cotton, purple. I think it's coming up okay. We don't often sort of have a lot of purple. This reminds me of some pants that I had when I was a lot younger. And this is pretty much the colour that that's what they were. So I saw it and I thought, wow, well, yeah, definitely more pants than that. Again, like the style of the red pants, no fuss, just flat fronted side or back zipper um, so they'll be really really comfortable okay catch you in a bit because I have something on my cutting table just came outside I got a lovely pink sky I don't know if you guys can see that so hopefully it might be a nice warm day tomorrow G'day guys, hope you're having a great day. Okay, so last night I told you guys that I had something else on my cutting table and that's as far as I got. I cut it all out. By the time I did dinner, ate dinner, sorted out the animals, my teenage earthling and everything else, I never actually got around to do any late evening sewing. So that's for me to do today. I'll show you the fabric which is here. So it's this really, really lovely green fabric, sort of minty green. It is a cotton fabric, but it has uh, quite a bit of stretch in it, and it feels, on the outside, on the surface, it's like a sateen. It's really, really soft and silky, um, but it's definitely a high content of cotton with a little bit of stretch in it, so I, I, I'm not quite sure kind of what the blend is. Anyway, so I'll get on and stitch all this up. I'm not going to tell you guys what it's going to be, so you'll have to wait until that's revealed. Okay, I will tell you what I'm wearing. So I have got a 100% cotton fabric top on that I made quite some time ago. The fabric was from Guthrie and Garni. They're based in the UK, in Birmingham. I went to their store about ooh, probably two years ago, maybe longer ago than that, I'm not sure. So obviously I don't think they're going to have this fabric in stock. Uh, it was pretty low at the time, so but I don't know what their turnover is. It could be that they may get some more in, who knows. But it's really, really lovely. You've seen this style top before and the little details. On the shoulder there both shoulders so I really like that um, I think you may have seen this in the first vlog that I did I don't think I had worn it I think it was just on a hanger so yeah it's really really comfortable really happy colors so yeah and it's still quite warm today and I've got a ton of stuff to do um, I got a bunch of clearing out to do in a room so I really got to get on and sort all that out. So I will see you guys later.
Okay guys, I thought I would give you a sneaky peek into some of my fabric stash. Now, it is organised chaos and it's relatively neat, but I know I can get it a whole bunch neater than what it currently is, as you can see. So this is what I'm doing at the moment. I've actually dragged myself away from sewing and I thought I'd better start all this. So in that bin there, I've got vintage clothing and in that bin there, I have got clothes to alter and when I was thrifting, obviously you can see those two little sewing baskets there. A lot of these on this side are more modern fabrics and the ones kind of in there are vintage fabrics. I've got a few more bags that I've got to sort out and obviously make sure that everything goes together. So, and then just next to that is just my chest of drawers and like my cute little crochet hedgehog I pitched this to him quite a few years ago and I wanted to get back into crochet so I could make some little crochet animals yeah okay I will show you my other little mini stash in the living room so in this other cabinet as you can see I have some more fabric and obviously you recognize this corner because this is the background to when I do my vlogs and a quick squizzy over there is the sewing area <laughs> but again I gotta tidy that up okay catch you guys later well I'm trying to sort stuff out and look Lucy goes in my drawer and starts rolling around and showing off I mean, what can you say, guys? Are you helping me? Or are you distracting me? Hey? You're not helping. You're just putting more and more fluff on my pants. Yep. I don't know. Look at this. My teenage earthling's got a book. Now, how the heck is he supposed to read this? when there is a furry friend on there. Are you funny? Are you funny? Good day everybody. Okay, in front of you is my darling teenage earthling. And there are my boxes of patterns. Now, the reason for this is Carla from Stay Stitching has done a tag and she said to me in one of the comments that if I'd like to join in, feel free. So this is what I'm going to do. I don't have a husband, as I've said before, so I'm going to say that my teenage earthling, with the help of the overlord Emma, apparently. So what he has to do is go through my patterns with absolutely no help from me whatsoever. He has to choose one pattern. Then obviously show me that. Then he has to go to my fabric stash and go through my fabric to decide what fabric would look good with that pattern. So I will film a little bit of my teenage earthling going through the patterns. But I don't want to bore you senseless guys and going through the whole lot. So I will do it in stages. And Emma, oh, bless you. And Emma is trying to help you. And now on to box two. And 
This Emma's still trying to get in there. On box number three now. And Emma's still there. And now just starting box four. These are the new look patterns. Getting there. And box number five. Getting there. Box number six. No more of the vintage ones. Okay, so my teenage earthling has chosen two patterns, but what he's got to do is decide out of which of these two patterns he most would like to see me wear. So, dun dun dun. You have a few minutes if you like to decide, or? No, I think I have an idea. Okay. I think I'm going to go with the Buttrick C. Patrick C. Okay, the only thing is, I don't think this is allowed, so what we'll do, we'll allow it, and it will be up to Carla to decide if this is wrong. But just so everybody knows, which they will know, is that is the one that I have already made for the KB pattern swap. <laughs> the only thing is, You've got to choose the fabric. So obviously I have not made it in the fabric that you want to choose. So, yeah. So what we do, we choose the fabric and I'll make it up. And then obviously I will reveal it. And then it's up to Carla if we have to do this process again. But if we do have to do this process again, is the McCall's? Yes, the one A. Okay, A. Which is that one. So there we have it, guys. My teenage earthling has gone through all my patterns. And guess what? Number C again. I mean, for goodness sake. I mean, most of the versions always seem to be the letter C. Okay, guys. So I'll catch you guys soon. Okay guys, so now we're moving over to the fabric stash for my teenage earthling to choose the fabric that he wants to see the garment made up in. Again, I think he's going to be here a while as there's quite a bit. And of course Emma's not too far away. So my teenage earthling's getting there, he's uh, having a really good look through. So much so that the fabric's falling out. Does anybody else have that issue? <laughs> uh oh, when I got that on film. Yeah. He's still going, guys. <laughs> like a little squirrel foraging. There's quite a bit in there. <laughs> and also, have you noticed, guys, what my teenage earthling is wearing? His beautiful space shirt. And from this angle, it looks pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> it really does look like those stars are sparkling.
Have you got any ideas so far, my teenage earthling? Okay. Okay. I think I have deduced which fabric I would like my hen to use, and it okay. is... Okay. My nickname is Hen, by the way, guys. These roosters. Oh, well, that's really, really lovely. Right, I will zoom in. Now, as long as they don't get me in a flap or peck at me, I think we'll be okay. Aren't they gorgeous? And thank you very much to my teenage earthling for choosing the pattern and choosing the fabric. And of course, yes, the kitty. Everybody, as you can see, I have gone thrifting and there's tons and tons and tons of stuff just everywhere. So, yeah. Perfect, look at that. There's some fabric. I think they're actually covers for dunas or what you call them, duvets. I don't know. Comforters. I know. Yeah. Yes, lots and lots of thrifting. Hmm, don't need clothes. I need fabric. I know clothes are fabric, but, you know, of a different kind. Wow, I really love those old suitcases. They are awesome. Yeah, because I can store my vintage patterns in there. Oh, look, there's some there as well. Cool. Oh, look. Rocking horse. Cool. Hmm. There's not much in the way of what I would call rummagey fabric, unless I just haven't found anything yet. But who knows? A couple of little wicker baskets there. I like wicker. Oh, I like this little stacking thing. It's not like the sort of sailor type one that I had, but I like white and it's neat. Okay, we have found the fabric bin and I think the fabric bin is in there as well. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit after I've gone foraging. G'day guys, it's Friday, September 14th. Hope everyone's having a happy Friday. Okay, so as you can see, my little reveal is partially seen here. Uh, it's another Macar's M7547, so it's this one. So this is my third make. This little guy here, he's only pinned on at the moment because I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep him there. And I look like a bit of a rainbow going on today. Minty green, blue and yellow. So the yellow t-shirt that you can see with the little bleep the sheeps. This was the new look K6532 which was this one. And if you recall I have made, I think this was the third one. Uh, the other two, one was in flowers and one was the bird one which is what I was going to put on today but uh, I thought I do wear that quite a lot so I thought I'd Put something else on okay so in a moment i will get some steels done and a little video just so you can see the overalls for length because obviously from here you can just only see the top part and this little guy was given to me by the lovely Gemma from a girl so geeky okay catch you guys in a minute okay guys so here we go this little guy like i just said he's only just pinned on I'm not sure if he's going to stay. Um, so if I step back, then you can see them in the full length. I just turn around. And again, obviously the nice deep pockets here and the ones at the back which is really really good 
and again this fabric I know I keep banging on about really soft fabric but this is just absolutely lovely it is a cotton um, I did do a burn test on it but it must have a, a bit of satin stretch in it because it is it's that satiny feel and um, like I said to you guys I think before it's got a little bit of stretch in it um, so yeah I cut in the satin I reckon um, I put buttons on as you can see here I'm not too sure what happened I thought I had two more clasps you know the proper overalls clasps that you can put on um, I can't seem to find the other two but I thought you know what I'll put different buttons on and like I say not too sure about this little guy yet um, also I put in a side zipper and a hook and bar as always um, the only thing is it's just a little bit it's just the end of the zippers um, I always seem to have a little bit of trouble in styling a zipper and it's just that little end bit where the two um, what edges just connect to the end um, so I might just do a couple of little hand stitches but I'm really really happy so this is my third overalls make tell me in the comments below if you'd like what you think of it um, I wouldn't normally team up my clothes like this minty green blue and yellow and um, this little sweater I thrifted a while ago and I added all these little buttons and I got some around the v-neck but it was just what I chucked on this morning and because I finished the overalls about an hour ago I just chucked it on over the top so yes I know my fashion sense looks a bit uh, crazy but I'm at home and uh, it doesn't really matter okay on the straps because I have uh, what's called a drops shoulder and um, I had to make sure it's this side because usually this is the side that always you know drops hence the term so I fixed the straps so they're nice and secure and I'm not getting that which is really really good just had to remember to make sure that these were even even though technically this one's shorter so yeah so all in all, really, really happy with this. Okay, I will catch you guys later. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got all the Butterick pieces laid out on the rooster fabric that my teenage earthling chose for me and obviously he chose the pattern for Carla from Stay Stitching, the tag that I'm going to do. Um, okay, so if you see. So yeah, oh, and this little cushion here, I've yet to finish but that little guy I photographed and uh, printed on the fabric and just doing up a cushion. So if you guys are interested, let me know. And if it's something that you would like to purchase, I'm sure we can get something arranged. Okay, so I'll check back with you guys either during the progress of this or the finished reveal. Ah, uh, look at these guys. Ah. Uh. And look, Emma's got her tongue out. Isn't it funny? A minute ago, we had five. Caption that, couldn't you? Caption. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hi, Co. Yeah, you're bold, aren't you? Guess where I am? I'm at the Casties Homemade Fair. It's Sunday today, so hopefully my earthling and I will have a really, really, really wonderful day. Okay, everybody, so I'm at the Handmade Fair. I'll tell you what I'm wearing. So this is my me-made shirt, and this skirt 
I had drifted from a vintage fair a few years ago. So very fabric hungry. Catch you in a bit. Even though it's a Sunday, it is still really, really busy. So, lots and lots of people. It's 10.40. So yeah, I'll film where I can. Lovely fabrics. And look, there's some kitty cats on that one. Oh, there's some lovely ones there as well. There's some fabric, lovely, lovely, lovely fabrics. Look, lovely colours. I feel very good so far. I haven't bought any fabric at all. Lots and lots of fabric. I must stop saying that. You get the idea. Everybody, look, we're at Lamanzi Fabrics. And they have a style here. Absolutely beautiful. And they're gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. Look how lovely they are. They're stunning. So they've got some more over there. I really like that kitty fabric. Hi guys, guess who I literally bumped into? This Hi lovely girl. lady does not need any introduction. Beautiful Tilly and how how is everything going? Yeah, good. Have you had a great time at the Hamming Fair? Fantastic. Still coming on next year. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. I am at the Lisa Comfort stand and she's got her beautiful patterns. And the little outfits there. It's really, really nice. With my teenage athlete at the Maker's Star, and look at all these adorable felting kits. Cute little hedgehog, and those guys there. They're absolutely adorable. And what is my teenage earthling's favourite? I think that's my teenage athlete's favourite. Correct. Yay, roosters or oh, hens. Hey. I'm out there. We're at the little area of Miss Meanies. And I've just purchased two beautiful pieces. And look at this, it's absolutely stunning. The Cyrilicious stand and look at their gorgeous, gorgeous, yummy fabrics. And I think that's the back of Nikki there. I'll catch up with her in a minute. Gorgeous. Hi guys, look at these two lovely ladies that I bumped into. So we have Hi. Amy Hello. from Cyrilicious and obviously you know Nikki. Hi. So yeah. Really good, thank you. Yeah, and look at all the beautiful fabrics everywhere. <laughs> and you know what it's like, guys. You know, fabric store. You know, photo is net. So I'm gonna have to make a purchase. I'm afraid. I'll blame these two. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Bye, bye. Bye. So at the moment, I'm at the stand of the Hawthorne Handmaids, and there's the lovely Stephanie. And look at all these beautiful, beautiful designs and everything, all hand created. And there's Stephanie's mama. And I have just made a little purchase, and I'm going to do some felting. So I'll let you guys know how that turns out. As you can see here guys, we're at the Jessely stand and look at these absolutely beautiful handmade items. They're absolutely gorgeous. 
And in a moment, you will see. You will see the lovely lady yourself. There she is. So I'm sure everybody can recognise all these wonderful, wonderful creations. Coming to the end now. So last sort of pan around. It's still quite busy. It's nearly too sardy. Hey guys, I've had a fantastic day. I've got a bit too much more than what I should have, but you know, you can't help it. All these fabrics are luring you into things. So I will have a chat to you guys a little bit later. I'll show you. everybody wow it's been a long exhausting day so before today's vlog goes up I really am hoping it will go up this evening it's still Sunday the 16th uh, much later it's uh, 5 5 p.m. okay so I will show you guys all the purchases that I got from da -da -da. The Handmade Fair by Kirsty. So, yeah, lots of goodies. So, the first fabrics that I'm going to show you, I got two from Fabrics Galore. This is the first one. <laughs> I can only show you guys so much. Oh, it's a bit long. A little bit more. It's this really, really characterful fabric. And that's their little card. And oh, these cute little bunnies. Look at those guys. Aren't they stunning? They are so, so, so super cute. So I think a little shirt because it's quite a structured. 100% um, cotton and again the other one was 100% cotton not quite as heavy as the little snow bunnies these two next fabrics were purchased from a company called Bombay Stores I think everybody has heard of them by now okay so look at these gorgeous guys I love 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 again 100% cotton and look, squawkers! Am I a pretty girl? Am I a pretty girl? Mm, okay, yeah, I know, I'm nuts. I'm completely nuts. I'm on a high. I went to the handmade fair today and, you know, I didn't know I was actually going to be going. So, right at the last minute yesterday, um, yeah, got tickets. Okay, so these two next purchases absolutely gorgeous fabric. I think Sean from Kittenish Behaviour has purchased these. I mean, be rude not to. I got one meter. And then these gorgeous little cuties. Perfect. And they have little twinkling bellies. Aren't they lovely? I think I'm going to make a little top out of that. So yeah, check out the Mandy fabrics. Every Everyone's going to be um, mentioned in my descriptions and linked and everything so you guys can check out their websites and everything. Okay, these four purchases, I'm not sure of their name. It was so busy. Um, the guys were foreign and the lady and everything was just a little bit chaotic and there was no receipt or anything or website. So... Sorry guys, but I don't know where they're from. Okay, so this beautiful fabric. Again, cotton. It's got quite a structure to it, so that's going to be another shirt. And 
Well, I think this is very apt. I may, my bleh, I might make a sewing machine cover out of that one. I'm not sure yet. Again, that's very structured. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that. That's the back. Yeah, I really, really like that one. And, oh, meow meows, more meow meows. Oh, look at those. They're so pretty. Oh, really, really lovely. That's got a little bit of stretch, structure to it. I can't talk. I just cannot talk, can I? It has structure to it, but not as structured as the bird one. Then I have been after some mustardy cord, and I actually found some. But this has sort of a velvety feel to it. I don't know what you guys think. I got two meters. Really, really, really soft, and on the inside as well, against the skin, it's going to be really, really soft. So that's the inside. Yeah, so gonna be kept really, really busy, aren't I? So lots of ideas. Okay, so the other little purchases that I got, not fabric, and this one's from Nicola Henrahan, and these are these beautiful cards that she has done. As you know, I'm wildlife crazy. Ah, oh, other. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, again, I will link her below. I think she's got, yeah, I think she's got web, yeah, website. So all the links will be in the descriptions below. I've got this beautiful little card with a wren on it. And they were called Bearded Squirrel. Again, really beautiful designs. I just got one card. But again, they had quite a few designs there. And they also did some t-shirts as well. Okay, I've got this beautiful little bookmark. For my teenage earthling. And this cute little fox that's been painted on like a little wooden plinth that was once a recycled tree that's so cute and they were from Miss Mimi's so again I will link everybody below I went to see if Lisa was there today, Lisa Comfort um, she wasn't there today unfortunately so I didn't get a chance to meet her but I purchased a bag which is quite cute so I can put all my little bits and pieces in there and for my teenage earthling, I got him a treat because obviously he was dragged around <laughs> all the fabrics. <laughs> so I thought, okay, what better way to give him a treat? And I can never remember this name, but it's needle felt. I always say stabbing. As soon as you know, you know, when you're stabbing things, then you know. But this kit, look. So that's from the makers. And you can make three of those little hens. So, and I really, really like needle felting. I got a kit, oh, quite a few years ago now, and I still haven't made it. It was a sheep. I've got myself another one. I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, I really want to do some different crafts, and I think that's, I think it's something we we'll both enjoy together. This little guy, Herdwick Sheep from Hawthorne Handmade. So he's quite diddy. So I, when I finish making him up, I could um, adhere a, what's the word, magnet, that's the word, or a pin, so it could be like a little pin, um, so I don't know, or I might just have some little sort of brown string, so he could be like a little hanging somewhere, so who knows, but once I've made him, then I'll make a decision. Okay guys, it's, all there is for me to say is thank you so so much for watching and supporting me and special, very special thanks actually to all the ladies that I met today, sparing a few minutes of your busy schedules, I really really appreciate that, it means a lot to me. Okay, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and 
if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and then you can follow my sewing journeys and any shenanigans that I get up to okay thank you so much have a wonderful week and whatever you're doing stitch up a storm okay take care see you